Hi, we have in front of us here a range of UHF mass and amplifiers that we stack on the TVTrade.ie website. The two we're covering here is a medium gain and a high gain um, amplifiers, but the principle is basically the same with all mass and amplifiers. Now, what would this equipment be used with and, what, uh, and why, uh, wh uh, what's the purpose of it? Okay, basically, the equipment that you'd be using in conjunction with, with always, always used in conjunction with uh, a power unit, which powers, that what happens is the power comes from this power unit here and it passes up to a mass and amplifier, which is mounted normally about a metre or metre and a half below a um, UHF aerial here and the idea of this is that it actually powers this aerial to a point where if you actually put your hand to it you can actually feel static electricity on it and the idea is that it pulls in a much more powerful signal okay uh, so if you're in a poor reception area this would be an ideal way of going okay uh, now, the alternative doing this and the traditional way of boosting signal often that people would be familiar with would be something like a distribution system here where it simply pulls in a signal that's um, coming from an aerial and it might split it and it boosts the signal by a certain number of dB, okay? But it's an important point to remember this is that it's making no effort to pull in a stronger signal, it's simply boosting the signal that's there already. So for this reason, the mass amplifiers generally are more um, effective, okay? Now, um, the one thing I'll say about it is um, when, it's, when you amplify it and you're pulling in a more powerful signal, uh, one thing to be aware of is that there's a possibility of amplifying the interferences out there as well. So if there was background interference uh, in the area uh, being picked up by the aerial, uh, by amplifying it uh, we will pick up more interference as well. Now this, these products here tackle this problem in an interesting way. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to slide this down. Basically this mass amplifier will be mounted on a pole like this and a cable will be run from the aerial down into the mass and amplifier. So what type of connectors will we use to connect it in? I'm just going to pull off this cover here for demonstration purposes. Uh, you can see there's F-type um, inputs here and with F-type connectors here in front of me on the workbench. So you simply put this onto a coaxial cable, run the cable up. Um, so basically what would happen here is uh, you would have a power unit which would be connected uh, to the input here and then the output part here would be connected into the TV aerial that we see over here. Now these are uh, screened, okay? So the importance of, of them being screened is that it filters out um, signals that are below um, the UHF uh, threshold here. So things like tetra interference, um, CB radius, things like this. Um, a, lo a lot of interference problems have arisen in Ireland in the last year or two as a new guard or radio system has been rolled out and these are excellent for blocking against that. Okay, So if we come along here and I'll just show you, I'll just pull the other one apart here. I pull off the next cover. So we have the medium one here and the, the gain on this here in terms of dB is 16 dB and the gain then on the high gain one as we can see here is 27 dB. Now it's not always best to go for the highest dB gain. We might have a situation where the aerial signal is strong but not just strong enough okay and, in, and we're quite worried about interference in the area so what we might do in that situation is we'll choose the lower gain of the, of the two amplifiers so um, the higher gain one uh, then uh, you know in a very poor reception area it will boost the signal thing and if we're not too worried about background interference uh, the filtering will be quite effective so normally we'll say we probably would sell considerably more of the high gain ones but the mediums do have their place as well uh, in our product selection uh, range now if we come along and we're using a power unit, a mass and amplifier, and we're running it to two televisions, it's essential that people use power passing splitters. Basically what we'll be doing here is we would have the TV aerial here, or the power unit feeding in here and the, feeding the aerial here, so it allows the power to pass through here effectively. If we connected the wrong ports here, what would happen is no power signal would go from the power unit to the aerial and would actually get no television reception whatsoever. So there's passive splitters which are slightly cheaper normally to buy than power passing and they are not as good, uh, they're not suitable at all for, for use in conjunction with um, uh, mass amplifiers and power units. But that's basically it anyway. They're very, very popular and effective range. They'll work with both analog and digital. Um, you know, we've moved from the, the old on-screen uh, ones that we used to sell into screened only because it's just more professional. Um, you know, the cost difference isn't so great and it almost invariably will give you better results. Uh, so that's it beginning to end. An overview of uh, the UHF mass and amplifiers uh, stocked by tvtrade.ie.